So, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and today's of which is on Major Von Reg's TIE Fire of Star Wars Resistance, of course. So on the front of the box you see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and that neat, interesting border, and Disney logo picture of the set the flying in action above some planet, and picture of all the minifigs included, and age recommendation is eight num set number 75240. Or zero it has 496 pieces and then on the back you see a picture of it in a resting position with major von reg jumping right out how to shoot the missiles of course and although i think this on the pl colossus platform this i think could have been worth it as the cover of the box but of course the tie interceptor set kind of did that as well but at least it's workable And on to the instruction manual, of which, uh, come on. Okay, well, on the front of the manual, of which, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. Add for all the pieces that come with the set. Add for the action battle sets and minifig checklist. And then add for Lego Life and the last building step, of course. First of which is the named figure of the set, Major Von Reg. And the torso print of which done quite cool. Oh, it's done pretty good. That and also leg print also done good. You see holding the small pistol there and the helmet piece of which quite nicely done, like good sculpting all over and despite the black thing in the back. And the back torso print also done nicely. So if I remove it. Plain black head, just like Captain Phasma kinda did. But although, uh, what I think they also could have had as infigs for this set is a uh, Commander Pyre, of course. But besides that, a nice mini thing to this. And next of which is the main antagonist of the Star Wars Resistance uh, show, which is Kazuda. Uh, Ziano or Kaz for short. But, and his uh, front torso print done quite goodly. Got some good shiny uh, bits to it. Same with the leg prints, also done nicely. And for the hair piece, which with this has nice sculpting to it, which I think would, can work on some other big custom figs and all. And his back torso print also nicely. And his double side face, which just you good says might be the same as Hawkeye's, but I'm not sure. Or maybe he's wrong, but I do think this, but also I do think this uh, face print to which does kind of work out for him. And next to it is General Leia Organa, which, who is kind of similar to her appearance in the Resistance. A resistance resistance troop transport set from 2016 or so of like sand green and purple for that and also holding small pistol there oh, but although I think the face print of which might be exclusive to this I'm not sure but although kind of a lack of leg printing but uh, I can forgive it but back front and back prints done quite good and also has quite the double side face, of course. And last of which is R1J5, aka Bucket. <laughs> like, does have the short uh, cylinder piece, kind of like a uh, chopper in Rebels, kind of did, but the regular size battle droid, or I mean, astromech droid legs, of course, and also. 
the main fitting holder thing to give him the third leg, of course. Although I think it could have been done the same as they've always done with R2-D2 and all those. And well, the helmet piece above, which has some quite nice prints to it, and also a cylinder, which I think can work with like assassin droids and things. Although it has kind of a more like hollowish kind of area there. Although I think it could have worked if it were clear with some prints to it, but besides that, a nice cool mini fig, but not at all any back torso print, but yeah. Next to it, so now to Major Von Reg's TIE Fighter itself, or for first glance, a bit more like TIE Interceptor, since appears to be kind of built like that of a tight interceptor but also do have this like red and black kind of color scheme but with a bit of gray to it but kind of a bit expected but the shaping of it, it pretty much like that is probably about right for a new tie interceptor if they ever do get to doing that so like first it like, has those like Ratchet kind of pieces in front, kind of like uh, Kylo Ren's uh, TIE Fighter once had. And also, going all around is this uh, cool use of those like corner bracketed pieces, making it less uh, studded, but also a good uh, texture or kind of pattern to it. The center, which does have that piece that most uh, TIE Fighter sets often have, and but also do have. One of those smaller things acting as uh, smaller uh, cannons or whatever. And they are, of course, in use of those like technic uh, bracketed kind of pieces rather than just click joint plates, which I like. So it keeps it nice and sturdy. But also, good use of those like slope pieces in there. And just like the Black Ace TIE Interceptor set has the same exact cockpit piece as that one, as well as the 2018 TIE Fire set. Although I do think that the black one that came with the First Order one uh, also can can work with it. But actually I think this one is fine as it is. But besides that, from the top of which does have a nice printed uh, dish piece, which you can use in black TIE Fighter box and things. And you know, open it from there, and also that. And of course using a battle droid body piece for that. And of course a couple of clips to fit any pistol onto it, like so. And of course, if you look to there, just not at all any uh, printed console pieces for that. Although I think these little plates could have had that, but what? And then enough space to fit Major Von Reg and, and kind of blends in a bit like so. And although the antenna, which kind of stick sticking out a little kind of randomly, but maybe it's just there. For it, so. And if look from the back, have some more of those uh, corner pieces but also good shaping to it, and also some more of that as well. And if you notice the little, little cone piece sticking there, it kind of turns the other ones down below, and it makes the uh, spring load launcher shoot off like so. Although it does kind of leave a big gap to it, like most other TIE Fighter sets. Besides that, holding it from here, oh, which has quite good stable ability to it, so quite good for like uh, swooshing and whatnot. So now on to it, the final verdict on this one. So. Uh, hang on. 
So overall, this I think is a pretty, a quite cool set from Star Wars Resistance, of course. Even though next to the Black Ace Tie Interceptor set, a good amount, a kind of neat uh, pair of sets, of course. Even though they're both Tie Fighter type ones, of course. But this is which a quite unique one with the red and black color scheme, since of course. In recent times, Star Wars ships have been getting a bit more colorful, of course, since for all the new movies and things. But the minifig selection, you know, kind of bearing. Like, I think like, uh, Niku or any of the other characters also could have been included. But I can forgive it. But the price of which, 400 pieces, over 400 pieces for $70 each. Although I think 50 is more workable for, or more fair for. Even though everything Star Wars Resistance is oftentimes overpriced. But I'm sure that by the time of this recording, it's probably be, going to be on sale and whatnot. And so now, if you've been catching Star Wars Resistance and want to get this set for your collection, then pick it up. And if they still sell this set where you in your area, also truly pick it up. And that's about it with this video. And like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.